very good morning everyone this is your class for economics and in this class we are going to start our chapter number 4 that is industrial licensing in india so as you all know for an economy to develop the need of industrial development is very much that is why it is considered as a foundation stone for the economic development any economy can't think about growing without industries industries are very much important for a developing country and uh, as you know india is also a developing country and india have an imbalanced economy so to balance it we need to grow our industry we need to industrialize the industrial sector industrial development is very much important for our country next is how is industrial development important or how is industrialization important so first of all it will increase national income as you all know we have much resources with us we have many resources a number of resources with us so if we are utilizing them in a proper way it will generate income for the economy next is increase in per capital income industrial sector has more productive and com as compared to agriculture because what happened that uh, the industrial sector use more machinery and hence they produce more than the agriculture sector can produce because agriculture sector is basically labor based sector so this will rise in per capita income because people will have to people will come to earn more income in the industries okay as compared to agriculture and there are more employment opportunities also in the industrial sector because there are number of people needed to run a industry next is significance in industry agriculture development look how is it significant in agriculture development because agriculture will produce a resources okay agriculture will produce means of resource means of production that is the raw material and that raw material would be purchased by the industry that will create finished goods from it which means in return what we are doing agriculture sector product is used in industries so that is how it make the significant development of agriculture sector also next is increase in productivity now if you are using factor of production and you are using it in industry then some product will be there and the more of the labor and more of raw material is used then it will raise the productivity and help to reduce the cost of the product you all know this that with the help of machine we can produce more goods and as compared to goods produced by a human being okay next is improvement in standard of living improvement in standard of living means industrialization will help raising the employment and income level and simultaneously what will happen our purchasing power will also grow so we will provide we will purchase various kinds of goods and services that will increase our standard of living next is increase in saving and investment industrialization have helped the person to save and invest in the companies why because they will get money from it they will get return on it and hence they have formed a habit of saving and investing their money in the economy next is balanced economy india is already predominant in agriculture most of the population of india is dependent on agriculture if there are industries then some people will shift toward industries as well from the agriculture sector so the overpopulation in the agriculture sector will simultaneously decrease and there will be a balance between the two industries now last is useful for defense industrialization helps producing arms and ammunitions and other equipments that whatever weapon is used by the defense that will be produced by the industrial sector so they help the industrials sorry they help the defense also okay now comes to the main achievement or good effect of india's industrial development what are the good effects or achievement that industrial development have made in india so the first one is expansion of public sector as you can see that what happened there were only five public enterprises in 1951 52 and the investment was only 29 crore but when it come to 1915 1916 after so many years and after industrialization the industrial units were shifted to 290 from 5 to 290 and investment from 29 crore to 9.9 lakh crore that is a huge amount <coughs> the next is balanced industrial growth balanced industrial growth mean there was a dom dominance of consumer good industry 
like cotton textile jute sugar etc these were grown at a very large scale because the raw material was easily available but now what happened due to industrialization we shifted to heavy industries also like we produce iron steel cement heavy machines etc in our country too so a balance between the two industry is created next is increase in industrial production so basically whenever the industries are increasing a number of industries are now increasing simultaneously the production will also increase so that is the point that uh, increase in industrial production next is increase in export when we have excess of the things then we will sell something to the foreign countries also right that is the export when we are selling something to foreign countries india has started exporting machineries and engineering goods that were never exported before because they were never made in india but now india is making these things as well as exporting these things and the export has gone up to 46% along with this we have produced some substitutes of import that is the product we are importing we have made some other alternative for them which have decreased our import also next is development of micro small and medium industries look small and medium industry act was passed in 2006 and what happened it gave initiative to micro small and medium industries and a lot of people invested in it and hence their development was seen simultaneously because there was investment and the raw material are already available and there is a mo- lot of motivation in the small and medium scale industries next is foreign technical collaboration look whenever we need technology we were looking forward to see what foreign foreign countries are doing or what developed countries are doing and fr- taking training from these countries we have developed our industrial system which means we have just taken the help of foreign experts and developed our technology last is sorry seventh is foreign aided enterprises foreign aided enterprises means the enterprises which are aided or supported by foreign countries earlier in 1957 there were only 81 such enterprises and now in modern era in in, in now time it is 29000 which is a great increase okay next is it also contributed to gdp yes look if someone is producing something the productivity is good the income or, or the earning is also good then simultaneously that particular industry will contribute something to gdp because gdp means increase in the income or increase in the production okay when production will increase gdp will simultaneously increase now come to critical appraisal whatever the conditions are our industrial sector have grown a lot okay we have enough of contribution from cap industrial sector now in gdp as well as we have developed sufficient of industries in modern era okay now let's see some drawbacks or weakness or bad effects of industrial development so the first one is low growth rate industrial growth rate has always been slow why because we were not aware of much of the technology so every time we want to establish a new industry we have to take the take the help of some other industry or some other country seek permission seek training from there and then we can open our industry so the growth rate is slow next is foreign dependence we are dependent on foreign capital that foreign people will invest in our business and technology also we take training from them which means that we are much more dependent on foreign countries next is no proper use of capacity look in india what happened that there is a lot of wastage of capital resources why because we have an excess of capital resources that is why uh, we are wasting them and this is a bad effect of industrial development next is centralization what happened that uh, process of industrial development or the industrialization was centralized to some particular industries only a few industrial houses were there to which the central uh, sorry the industrialization was centralized okay next is regional inequality what happened that there were some area where there was a lot of industries like in maharashtra gujarat there were a number of industries but there were some areas also where the number of industries are very much less which caused regional inequality in the country next is failure to remove unemployment why because we used capital intensive industry instead of labor intensive and the labor was free there was no work for labor because all the work was done by machinery and there was a very small need of labor so people remained unemployed and there was no solution for it in the industrialization as well 
Last is obstacles in development. India have some obstacle in the development of industries. What are they? We don't have much of capital. The productivity level is low. We don't know how to produce. Deficiency of training. We are not well trained. And we don't have enough of management skill to face the competition in the world. Okay. I hope you get all the concepts of industrialization, their advantages as well as their disadvantages. Have a very good day students.